welcome back, dudes and dudettes. This is obviously yours truly, Light Liger here. And today, as I did promise before, I would be showing you how to stake your Cardano. And as of making this video, it is available on two different wallets. You have the Daedalus wallet, which is available on Windows Desktop. I also believe it's available on Linux and Mac. And then you have Yoroi wallet, which we're going to be using in this video. And I'm going to leave a video by then another YouTuber who has the guide on that Daedalus staking tutorial. And the Yoroi wallet is available on Chrome and Firefox as an extension and it's also available on mobile on Android and iOS. I'm going to be using the Chrome mainnet one. It's on here on Google um, Store. Very good ratings here. Already 40,000 users for this. And once you have installed it, you find it here on the corner and you're just going to be clicking it and it will open up a new window. And here you see the main screen where basically you have all of your wallets. And these are two ones that I created before. And that was during the Byron era, which is the kind of the first era of Cardano. So if we actually move in and see the actual wallets, you see the address type is actually a bit different um, from the Shelly wallets. So in order to delegate or get the staking rewards, you need to have a Shelly uh, wallet. So if you have um, Cardano in your old wallets, you need to basically move them into a Shelly wallet. And this is my Shelly wallet. And as you can see here, we see the delegation tab and there's the receive tab. And as you can see, this address here is different um, from the one we just saw. And I think this is going to be changing once the, the Gogwen era will happen, or maybe these will use the same one. I'm not quite sure. But basically, uh, in this website, you can create many wallets as you desire um, through like, hardware treasure, or you can also restore wallets, creating wallet, choose paper or normal one. And then you just put up a random name. Then you need a password, which is 10 letters. I think you need to have capitals and special numbers here. And then you need to wait for 10 seconds until it will show you the recovery phrase. And then you need to obviously write it down, make sure to put it on your diary or notepad or on a very private thing, which nobody else is going to be accessed, like a, a laptop or a phone, which is not connected to the internet. And here it gives you, but we're not going to be obviously using that because you're going to be stealing all my Cardano. So um, we're, first thing we need to obviously do is go into our wallet and we need some Cardano. So joining into a pool is going to have two ADA cost and then the transaction cost itself. So there's going to be a gas fee involved. So first thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to be generating a new address just, just for the security purposes. And you can create many addresses as you want uh, with um, the Yoroi wallet, which is very convenient. We're going to be copying this address and I'm going to be opening my Exodus here, which I have my old Cardano. And as you can see, this is, has the old address format. And as always, don't send all the money right away because Cardano costs are so low. We're going to be just doing a test run. We're going to be sending one Cardano to this address. Um, there's going to be a bit of a fee here. I hope actually the fees will go down um, a bit more on, on the future because I don't think that's really uh, acceptable fee. But that may be the Exodus drawing up something. So we're going to be sending that and see whatever this transaction will come in and show up here on, on our wallet. And we're going to be obviously waiting for a second. And here we can actually see the whole dashboard. And these are the epochs. Epochs are basically the, to, to put it on very simple terms, they are kind of like the voting periods where you delegate your Cardano. And then you get the rewards. Um, then when the epoch ends, basically after that, you're going to be um, seeing those rewards. And as we see here right now, the one ADA has come out. And now we're going to be sending some more Cardano to the wallet. Click send. And now we're going to be waiting until that Cardano reaches to the actual wallet. And then we can start the actual delegating process. 
and basically it's a really simple how everything this is done so if you have the cardano in your byron wallets which is you know if your case you're using trust wallet atomic wallet or exodus just move it into a shelly wallet i'm pretty sure that those wallets that i just mentioned are going to be supporting those shelly addresses in very short future and when they do i will do another video showing you how it's done with those wallets but this is basically, um, as you can see, we have received the ADA here. Now we have six ADA. And now we are going to be uh, going into the delegation. And what we need first is the stake pool ID. So go to adapools.org and find here uh, one that you want to stake to. And each of these have their different fees. And you want to maybe look for something that has a bit of a lower fee. Uh, this one has 0%, which looks very lucrative. And you want to look their social medias and websites because when you give certain people and certain projects uh, money, they might build something cool on the ecosystem like wallets and dApps and services and websites. And that's important. Our Ada Pools has their own um, um, pool as well. So we're going to be using this one. And then we're going to paste it here. And then it will automatically apparently to start processing. It gives you the right check mark that we have a real uh, pull here. Then you click next and then it will process for a minute or two or not a couple of seconds probably, but uh, this shouldn't take too long. And as you can see, there's a bit of a fee attached to it. I set around two and that's basically the, the amount. That's the initial amount. You don't have to pay it again. And this is the reward we would be getting per epoch based on our current holdings right now. And you add in your spending password and click delegate. And after this, we can probably monitor on our dashboard what is going to be our first epoch reward. I believe you have to vote before the epoch starts, basically. And that is per epoch, how many epochs there are per year. I'm going to leave that somewhere on the screen for you to see. And basically, you know, you can always change your delegate. Remember that you can only vote for one delegate. So in case you want to vote for multiple delegates, you have to create multiple wallets. And now we can go into the dashboard and we can see the time until. And it says that, okay, no rewards will be earned in this epoch. And it's going to be taking a couple of epochs until we're going to be basically getting paid. Um, because we just now basically staked that Cardano into the system. And that's how easy and simple it is to basically do staking on Cardano with the Yoroi wallet. Okay, actually here it shows us now on the actual things. So we can see on Epoch 2213, we are going to be getting rewarded. But remember this that do research much as possible. Who do you delegate to? Because there are a lot of cool projects there who are trying to build stuff on Cardano and you want to give them uh, the money and, 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 and not like some random dudes who are not going to be contributing anything and just going to be taking your money with high fees and stuff like that. And in case you want to start sponsoring my channel, your pool and you need be people, you can drop me an email at lightliger at protomel.com. Obviously, I do appreciate Cardano tips, I mean, which are not mandatory, but they are appreciated. If more people chime in and throw me some couple of Cardano, I'm more likely to do more videos revolving around Cardano, and I want to do that. But hopefully, like, the community will be interested in supporting me on both ways. And who knows, maybe I will start my own node one day, but I don't know the technical process behind that, so it might be too tech-savvy for me. But thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.